Hi guys, this is Danielle Valkyrie from the EOS show in Verona and I'm gonna host a TFB TV this weekend. Sorry, Danielle. Look, you did a great job with the intro, but you got me, boys. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you EOS from Verona, Italy. Hey, everyone. James Reeves with TFP TV over here at EOS in Verona, Italy. I've got Ricardo with me. Ricardo is a Beretta product manager, an engineer, and a friend of mine. Ricardo, thanks for being on the program. We're looking at the, and I know I'm going to butcher it. The ultra leggero. Le ultra leggero, correct, yeah. Ultra leggero, ultra light in Italian. So, as you can see, uh, this is an ultra light shotgun. We have it available in 12 and 20 gauge at the moment. We launch it in Europe. We expect it to be available in the US market soon, maybe with something more dedicated for the US consumer. Uh, just quickly, I mean, it's a Beretta over and under, but the very interesting and peculiar thing about this gun is it's a very light gun it weighs 2.9 kilos in 12 gauge i don't know what's that in pounds yeah the, yeah it's about uh, s less than six and a half pounds six and a quarter yeah. pounds yeah and uh, the interesting thing about this gun is we achieve that target weight without using an aluminum receiver so basically what we're doing here is we have a steel receiver where we took all the excess material that we didn't need it in terms of strength and then covered with this nice let's say uh, plates done with a very specific technology in order to, not only to look good but also to be light. So it's a three inch magnum uh, shotgun and uh, there's also available in 20 gauge and uh, I mean that's it. I can't believe how light it is whenever I picked it up for the first time like it, it, with yeah with I thought it was an aluminum receiver for sure. Yeah I mean that's the idea it's a type of let's say shotgun for very specific types of hunting. I mean if you want to go in the, in the mountains or you want to walk a lot and then not do many shots and this is the perfect shotgun because every every ounce you you save in weight at the end of the day is going to make a difference. This isn't something I'm going to take to my local clay shooting range and shoot all day. You, I mean you could of course I mean yeah. it's very capable uh, if you use uh, low recoil ammunition for sure you're going to have a blast but I mean it's not meant for being a very high volume shooting shotgun. And what are they going to cost in the United States, if you know? Uh, we haven't decided yet. It's, uh, we ha I mean, we have some other interesting things. One of them I can show you right here. Uh, we'll talk about it later. This is basically a system where we eliminate the selector on the gun. And what basically does is that with every single trigger, I can pull both shots away. So it's very interesting because we eliminate the use of the selector on the gun and you can choose which barrel to shoot first by only positioning your trigger in one, in one trigger or the other one. So the interesting thing is that after you shot the first round, you don't have to switch your finger to the second trigger. You just keep shooting there. The only thing you're doing is mentally, and it's faster, you're switching the barrel selection when it comes over and under or under over first, depending on what you want to do. So this is a very interesting thing and it's available also on the Ultra Ligero as a standard version and I'm sure many hunters in the US will understand what this is exactly because sometimes depending on what you're hunting and the distance you might want to have, you know, certain chokes and certain, let's say, uh, cartridge with a certain number, pellet number, whatever in one barrel and then something slightly different on the other. With this one you can choose immediately without having to use your thumb, just instinctively changing your finger from one trigger to the other. Ricardo, is there a name for this trigger system? Uh, so in Italian it's called doppio monogrillo, which uh, it would mean uh, double single trigger, which uh, it gives you an idea that you can pull both shots with either trigger. So that's uh, the concept and the idea behind it. Now with the ultra leggero, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm just put it. Uh, it's going to come with a standard trigger, but this is an option if you want it. Yeah, I mean, in Europe we are selling a version also already out of the box with this system. Very cool. What's the upcharge going to be? Uh, the upcharge, if you buy it out of the box like this, I, there, I don't think there will be such a big difference. I mean, it depends on the market, but one of the things that I can tell you it is it can be done by your gunsmith, and it's also... You can put this system also in any of our Silver Pigeon series that you shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, shot yesterday. So, that was very cool. Yeah, it's a very clever idea because we can put in basically our 690 and 680 series of shotguns. So. Standalone, how much does that cost in Europe? So in Europe, uh, I, th I think we sell the kit for one between 150 and 200 euros. Oh, not very expensive. With, with the service included, yeah. So. Oh, with the service to get it installed yeah. included? 
I think yes. Okay, very cool. Now, I know that you don't know what the pricing is going to be in the United States for this shotgun, but how much does it cost in Europe? Uh, the shotgun? Yes. It's uh, 2400 euros. Amazon. Okay, yeah, so that's yeah. that's very competitive. I assume that you never know in the United States. I mean, often the, the price can even be less than what it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the way I would put it to compare it with another model that is in the U.S. is the Silver Pigeon 3. So it will be, it's a field gun, so it will be at about the same price once at that one, depending if the configuration stays the same. If we have a wood upgrade or something, it might, of course, the price is going to change. And when do you think it'll make it to the U.S.? I, this year, for sure, we're going to start seeing something for uh, hunting season. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ricardo, for taking the time to do the interview. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more from EOS.